Apple will soon reveal iOS 18, which is rumored to be one of the biggest updates in the history of the iPhone. Let's walk through some of the most exciting new features. Headlining iOS 18 will be artificial intelligence, or AI. Apple has been repeatedly teasing this to the masses. In fact, Apple's own Greg Joswiak has taken to Twitter to share a bit of a teaser ahead of WWDC, saying it's going to be absolutely incredible. Note the capital A and the capital I in his message, AI. So how will the iPhone maker leverage AI in iOS? Well, it's no secret that Siri has been falling behind the competition, and recently rumors have been swirling about a revamped Siri 2.0. Supercharging Siri with AI prowess could make it far more capable and powerful, not only enabling your favorite disembodied helper to have more conversational awareness in a larger context window, but also help it learn your personal preferences and directly assist with mundane tasks. Hopefully putting an end to the dreaded I found this on the web, check it out, responses once and for all. I'd love to be even able to use compound commands like turn on the kitchen lights and open the living room shades in the same breath. That said, Apple won't be delivering some sort of GPT style chatbot. Bloomberg's Mark Gurman has leaked that Apple's improvements to the digital assistant will instead focus on helping the user to be more productive throughout the day. However, there have been rumors that Apple could be licensing Google's Gemini for use in a similar way that it currently leverages Google Search, potentially enabling Siri to use Gemini or other providers as a back end to get answers, instead of relying on Apple's own in-house models. This is further bolstered by the fact that Apple is partnering with Baidu for the Chinese release. One sketchy rumor from Malias Research suggests that Apple could even offer a dedicated app store just for AI applications. You could source different AI apps for image editing, conversations, and more, potentially even allowing Siri to download and use different AI backends. In general though, Apple's use of AI in iOS 18 will be aimed at helping users proactively throughout the day. Think AI-generated playlists in Apple Music, recommendations or grammar corrections in the iWork suite, and turbocharged autocomplete in messages. Speaking of messages, one big feature is already confirmed for Apple's popular conversation app, RCS. Apple confirmed in 2023 that it would be bringing RCS to the iPhone, and iOS 18 is the most likely candidate to deliver it. Don't worry, iMessage isn't going anywhere, and there still will be blue bubbles and green bubbles, this will just improve the texting experience with Android users. You'll be able to send higher quality photos and videos, and unlike SMS, it'll work just over Wi-Fi, no reliance on a cellular connection. There are so many big features left to reveal, but before I get into them, I wanna thank our sponsor for this video, Journey. Ever since Apple added MagSafe to the iPhone, I've been telling people to try a MagSafe wallet and it may have taken a couple years, but I finally found the one that I might like most. This is the Journey Locate Wallet. The Locate Wallet is built out of a vegan leather, and it has so many perks. It can hold up to five cards. There's a pocket on the outside that can hold three with a really easy removal slot there at the bottom, and it opens up where you can hold two more on the inside. Plus it works with the Find My app, similar to an AirTag. You can locate it wherever it is. You can get a left behind alert should you leave it somewhere and has a built-in speaker so you can track it down when you leave it in the gym or your car or just in a pants pocket in your closet. Not even Apple's own wallet works with Find My other than just showing where it was last disconnected from your phone. This one is more like an actual AirTag. I think it's much better. I also love traveling with this wallet because not only do I get to keep everything kind of together in one spot, but it allows me to like use my phone as a little display on the plane. So I can like watch movies and everything on my phone without having to bring like another standard tripod or something. Like it's, it's just so handy. I've been using this for a couple months now and I'm still loving it. If you are interested in these, there's a link for it down below. Thank you again to Journey for sponsoring this video. What people may be most excited for though is a redesigned home screen experience. Now, details are still a little scarce, but one big leak says that Apple will allow near free placement of apps. There will still be an underlying grid system, but you'll be able to place apps in any row 
in any column, even leaving blank spaces in between. It's similar to what's available on Android, since Android. I personally love to see the ability to place control center elements anywhere on the home screen, like in these concepts you've been seeing from Concept Central. Seriously, these look amazing, so be sure to check them out if you want to see more cool concepts like this. Apple has slowly been opening up the home screen in recent years, introducing new ways to customize it and make it unique. You can now hide apps and have them only appear in the app library, place widgets anywhere, and have them be interactive, and you can set custom icons. Allowing near free placement is a logical next step, and something users have been asking for. Would you like to see something like this, or are you interested in other changes to the home screen, like being able to just put text places or even transparent widgets? Let me know down below in the comments if there's other changes that you'd love for Apple to introduce to the home screen. Maps is also set to receive a big new feature with iOS 18. The latest reports say Apple will allow users to create custom navigation routes. This, a longtime feature of Google Maps, will allow you to create a preferred custom route to your destination instead of relying on the two to three options that Maps currently suggests. Though unfortunately, it seems like this new feature will be limited to the United States for launch. It appears Apple may also be bringing topographic maps from Apple Watch to the iPhone, according to a recent rumor obtained from code snippets. Finally, there's AirPods Pro. They'll be updated alongside iOS 18 to gain a new hearing aid mode. We don't know exactly how this will work, but we can surmise that the microphones will boost audio around you in a similar manner to Conversation Boost to aid those who suffer from hearing loss. You may be wondering, will your device support iOS 18? Well, a leaker with a known track record of releasing iOS build numbers ahead of time has, in a since-deleted tweet, said that iOS 18 will support the same devices as iOS 17. That means it'll support models all the way back to the iPhone XS, the XR, and it'll even support the iPhone SE 2 and iPhone SE 3. If you have an iPhone newer than those, iOS 18 will be supported. Apple will officially announce iOS 18 at WWDC 2024 on June 10th. Be sure you are subscribed to the channel and you have notifications turned on, and I will walk you through the biggest changes to these updates as soon as they're released.